Vitatas Landsbergis VI circumflex TDs NDZBRS Listen born the 18th of October 1932 is a Lithuanian conservative politician and member of the European Parliament He was the first head of state of Lithuania after its independence declaration from the Soviet Union and served as the head of the Lithuanian Parliament Seimas Landsbergis is an intellectual who has been active in Lithuania's political arena for more than two decades, and a notable politician who helped contribute to the demise of the Soviet Union. He has written 20 books on a variety of topics, including a biography of Mykologis Konstantinas Sirlonis, as well as works on politics and music. He is a founding signatory of the Prague Declaration on European Conscience and Communism, and a member of the International Advisory Council of the Victims of Communism Memorial Foundation. Biography Vytautas Landsbergis was born in Kaunas, Lithuania. His father was the famous architect Vytautas Landsbergis Zemkalnis and his mother, ophthalmologist Dr. Ona Jablonskite Landsbergin in 1944 sheltered a Jewish teenager in the family home. For this act she was awarded the title of a righteous among the nations by Israel. In 1952 he placed third in the Lithuanian Chess Championship, after Ratmir Kolmov and Vladis Mikainas. In 1955, he graduated from the Lithuanian Conservatory of Music now Lithuanian Academy of Music and Theatre. In 1969, he wrote his thesis for his PhD degree. In 1978, he became a professor at the Lithuanian Conservatory. From 1978 to 1990, he was a professor at both the Lithuanian Conservatory and the Vilnius Pedagogical University. In 1994, he wrote a thesis for his Dr. Habilitas degree. Family Landsbergis is married to Grazina Rusite Landsbergin b. 1930, a well-known Lithuanian pianist and associate professor of the Lithuanian Academy of Music and Theatre. His daughters Jurit and Byrat are also musicians. His son, Vytautas, is a well-known Lithuanian writer and film director. His grandson Gabrielius Landsbergis b. 1982 is the current leader of the Conservative Party and a member of Lithuanian Parliament. Political career Landsbergis entered politics, in 1988, as one of the founders of Sajudis, the Lithuanian pro-independence political movement. After Sajudis' victory in the 1990 elections, he became the chairman of the Supreme Council of Lithuania. On of March 1990, he headed the parliamentary session during which the restoration of Lithuanian independence from the Soviet Union was declared. Lithuania became the first Soviet Republic to do so. According to the temporary constitution of Lithuania, Landsbergis had constitutional authority over both the leader of the state and the speaker of the parliament. He held this post from March 1990 until the next elections in November 1992. The Soviet Union attempted to stifle this activity by economic blockade in 1990, but it failed, and other Soviet republics soon followed suit and declared their independence from Moscow, as well. He was also extremely dubious of the view that Mikhail Gorbachev was trying to liberalize the Soviet Union and that Lithuania should not prevent him from doing so. Landsbergis also played a crucial role during the confrontation between the Lithuanian independence movement and Soviet armed forces in January 1991. Iceland was the first state that officially recognized the restoration of Lithuanian independence. Landsbergis was somewhat critical of certain Western powers such as the United States and United Kingdom for not showing enough support in Lithuania's bid to restore its independence after more than 40 years of Soviet occupation. In 1993, Landsbergis led much of Sajudis into a new political party, the Homeland Union It gained a landslide victory in the 1996 parliamentary elections. Landsbergis served as Speaker of the Seimas from 1996 until 2000. He ran, although unsuccessfully, for president in 1997 coming up the third after receiving 15.9% of the votes. During the runoff, he supported Valdis Adamkus, who had finished second in the first round. V. Adamkus eventually became president. In 2004, Landsbergis was elected by Lithuanian voters to the European Parliament in Brussels the total number of MEPs from Lithuania in Brussels is 13, and has been returned at every election since then. 
In 2005, Landsbergis became an international patron of the newly formed Henry Jackson Society. Since 2015, Landsbergis is together with Roswitha Fessler Kettler, Mep Heidi Hautala, Alexei Malmberg, and Frank Schwalbe Hoth member of the advisory board of the Caucasian Chamber Orchestra Association and its German. Vorderverein". Attempt to ban Communist and Nazi insignia In January 2005, Landsbergis, backed by member of the European Parliament from Hungary Joseph Shire, urged that Communist symbols be banned in the European Union, in addition to Nazi symbols. He also sent a letter to Franco Frattini, the European Commissioner of Justice and Internal Affairs, suggesting that in case the EU decides to ban Nazi symbols, Communist symbols should be banned too. The Commissioner became interested in this proposal and said, I am ready to join this discussion. The Communist dictatorship no less than the Nazi ones are responsible for the deaths of tens of millions of people. A bit later, however, the Commissioner decided that he would not attempt to ban any symbols, as there was no agreement as to which symbols should be banned. Landsbergis's proposal caused quite a stir in Italy, where leftists strongly protested such a move. The Communist Refoundation Party and Party of Italian Communists were outraged at the proposal. It became the centre of Italian media's attention. One of the most influential Italian dailies, La Repubblica, published an interview with Landsbergis outlining his proposal. It was the first time the daily allocated a full page to a politician from Lithuania. Landsbergis's proposal found few supporters among Italian politicians. One was Alessandra Mussolini, a granddaughter of former Italian fascist dictator Benito Mussolini, who commented, to implement the proposal of the members of the European Parliament regarding communist symbols is our moral duty." Landsbergis's proposal was opposed by the Russian Parliament as well. The first vice-speaker of the Russian State Duma called the proposal, "...abnormal". Another Russian MP, a communist, commented that, "...somebody in Europe became insolent and forgot who saved them from the fascists." The debate came to an end when, in the beginning of February 2005, the European Commission rejected calls for a proposed Europe-wide ban on Nazi symbols to be extended to cover Communist Party symbols as well. Frattini said it would not be appropriate to include the red star and the hammer and sickle in a draft EU law on racism. Finally, at the end of February 2005, the European Union dropped proposals to ban Nazi symbols across its 25 member states. Luxembourg withdrew the plan when it became clear that members could not reach a consensus on which symbols to ban. There were also concerns that the proposed ban was a threat to freedom of expression. Landsbergis is a fierce critic of Russia's intentions to impose any kind of influence on the Baltic states and publicly questions Russia's actions vis-à-vis -vis the Baltic states on both local and international media, as well as in the European Parliament. He warns that Russia might have intentions to control Lithuania and the other Baltic states economically and politically through a wide network of former KGB agents and other clandestine activities. Landsbergis is one of the most active politicians who urge Russia to compensate Lithuania and other post-Soviet republics for damage done to them during their occupations. Bibliography <inaudible> 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 Visas Sirlonis, 2008. Karolosius I. R. Leotuva, Nutatos I. R. Idehos, 2003. Puzbrolis Motijus, K. N. Y. G. A. A. P. Stasi Lozoriti as Jo Lescu I. R. Pasisikaimu, 2002. Sunki Lave, 1991 m, Ruduo 1992 m. Ruduo, 2000. Landsbergis Aria, 1997. Luzis pre Baltijos, Politine Autobiographia, 1997. Sir Leonio Muzica, 1996. Tevines Volanda, 1993. Adigave Vilti, Bert Varkos Textu Nigel, 1990. Senados I. R. Fugos, M. K. Sirlonis, 1980. Sir Leonio Daly, 1976. Honours and awards Honours National honours 
Lithuania, former Grand Master Grand Cross with collar of the Order of Vytautas the Great Lithuania, former Grand Master Grand Cross of the Order of the Cross of Vytas Lithuania, former Grand Master Grand Cross of the Order of Grand Duke Gediminas Foreign honours Estonia, Grand Cross with collar of the Order of the Cross of Terra Mariana France, Grand Officer of the Order of the Legion of Honour France, Grand Cross of the Order of La Pliade Germany Saxony, recipient of the Saxon Constitutional Medal Greece, Grand Cross of the Order of Honour Latvia, Grand Officer of the Order of the Three Stars Luxembourg, recipient of the European Medal of Merit Malta, Honorary Knight Grand Cross of Obedience of the Sovereign Military Order of Malta Norway, Knight Grand Cross of the Royal Norwegian Order of Merit Poland, Grand Cross of the Order of Merit of the Republic of Poland Romanian Royal Family, Extra Knight Grand Cross of the Order of the Crown Awards Foreign Awards European People's Party, recipient of the Robert Schumann Medal France, Foundation du Futur Award Germany Hermann Ehlers Prize Italy, Vibo Valentia Testimony Prize Norway, Norwegian People's Peace Prize Philippines, Gussie Peace Prize Spain, Ramon Lul International Prize UNESCO, recipient of the Medal for Contribution in Democracy and the Fight for Human Rights United States, recipient of the President's Truman Reagan Medal of Freedom of the Victims of Communism Memorial Foundation United Kingdom, International Freedom Foundation Award Honorary doctorates Landsbergis has received honorary doctorates from the following institutions Loyola University, Chicago, 1991 Vytautas Magnus University, Kaunas, Lithuania, 1992 Weber State University, Ogden, Utah, 1992 Yale University, New Haven, Connecticut, 1992 Vilnius Gediminas Technical University, Lithuania, 1998 University of Law, Lithuania, 2000 Helsinki University, Finland, 2000 Cardiff University, Wales, 2000 Sorbonne, France, 2001 Art Academy, Lithuania, 2003 See also List of Presidents of Lithuania References External links Vytautas Landsbergis NATO. Vytautas Landsbergis Biography Appearances on C-SPAN Interviewed on AN TV 2015 on the erosion of nation-state sovereignty, Western responsibility for protecting the Baltic states, and the state of world democracy Vytautas Landsbergis Freedom Collection Interview